A gentle leader is a tool that we use often around here, mostly for our busier dogs who are a little younger and need a little help getting some success early. It can be a very powerful tool to help your dogs in those early stages. But there are also times when a gentle leader can help a little bit older dog who maybe has some great skills but struggles to listen in different environments. Okay? Now, my young dog, Final, back here, you've seen him in lots of different videos, and he has some fantastic skills, but there are still times in his life where he struggles to listen, whether it be waiting for his turn watching agility or when some of the other dogs are running. Now, one of the biggest remarks that we get from students who have older dogs when we suggest using a gentle leader, it's the first thing they say is that they tried it and the dog didn't like it. Okay? Um, it's important that there be an adjustment and we help our dogs get accustomed to the gentle leader before we leave it on them. There's a number of things that you can do. So because final struggles in certain situations, uh, I'm going to take some time to show you how I work through putting a gentle leader on an older dog. I know when I put it on him, he's not going to like it, much like our students' dogs but I'm gonna show you some of the little tips and tricks that I do to get dogs comfortable in wearing the gentle leader. I'm Steve, this is Final, this is Final's new gentle leader. Welcome back to McCann Dogs. Now before I head inside and start training Final on how to be comfortable wearing the gentle leader, here are a few quick tips that can help you get a little bit more success in getting your dog comfortable with it. Feed your dog their meals wearing their gentle leader, breakfast or dinner. Play tug and fetch with your dog wearing that gentle leader. Use those toys that they love most. Or simply sit and pet them nice and calmly. Give them that lovely massage that they like while they're wearing that gentle leader. So step one with this is getting him comfortable with just the nose loop on. And um, I want to do it in little bits, of course, that can be successful. I've got some great cheese here, which he loves. I've got my gentle leader ready to go. And all I'm going to do is build a positive association with him feeling the nose loop on getting that yes and reward when he's calm with it on his nose. Now, a couple of ways to do this is I'm not gonna try and fight and put this on him. I'm gonna make it easy. I'm actually gonna take my treats, put that treat hand through the nose loop. Turn me this way, buddy, so you can see. Come on over here, bud. <laughs> Come on, move your butt. Now I can slide that nose loop on, yes, and then he gets the treats, good boy, yes. And then I can slip it off and try it again. And this is gonna start building that positive association with that feeling of the nose loop on his nose. Yes, good boy, yes, excellent job. I'll slide it off again, sit, bud. And I'm gonna try this over and over and over. What I want him to start to know is that this nose loop means good things are gonna happen. So you'll notice this time, his nose is now coming forward to the nose loop, looking for those treats. So my hand can be out of the nose loop now. His nose goes right through that nose loop. Yes, and reward, pull it off again. Now part of this is me also figuring out uh, the size of the nose loop. I've noticed a couple times that I put it on that's a little bit big, so I'm just gonna make it a little smaller and we'll try it a couple more times again. So a little food on his nose. Yes, good boy, excellent job. That's a much better fit. Pull it back off again. That's pretty much step one. So I've spent a little time getting Final used to the idea of having the nose loop of the gentle leader on his little face. I've rewarded him for doing it and he's getting okay with it, but I haven't really put it on him. I haven't done anything with it because I'm gonna do that right now. And what I wanna show you is how I'm gonna work through getting him comfortable with it. When I first put it on him, he may paw at it. He may uh, try to struggle a little bit. He may try to resist it a little bit. And oftentimes that can be a little bit worrying for some of our um, owners in terms of what do they do. Well, I'm gonna work through it and you can see how I do it right now with him. I have a couple of things that are gonna help make this process a little bit easier. I've got some great rewards that I'm gonna help to build that positive association with the gentle leader. And I've also got my toy and final loves to tug, he loves to play. And I'm gonna use both of those things to help him realize that the gentle leader still means all the good things can happen. Now it's pretty obvious that a lot of the times when I'm talking to you and demonstrating things, I'm doing it in a fairly quiet environment. Final, good boy, sit. And there's a reason for that. Our job is to help our dogs to be successful. And if I put my dog in a situation where things are too crazy and my dog is too distracted, they're not learning. They're simply overfaced in that particular moment. So I've got my treats ready to go. Final is here with me. I've got my gentle leader ready. First things first, I'm gonna put a little food through the loop off oh, and sit through the nose loop there. And I'm gonna give him that treat and slide it on his nose. And then this head collar is gonna come around behind. And I'm just gonna snug that up on him for a second and make sure that head collar fits a little tighter. Good boy, excellent job. And then I'm gonna transition my leash from the nose or from his collar to the nose loop. And you can see right now, he's already starting to say, hey, wait a second, I'm not super fond of this. So I'm just gonna get my leash organized here. He's messing with it a little bit. So I'm just gonna lift up here a little bit and then put some slack back in. Good boy, excellent, yes. So, oops, so we're gonna leave it, good. Good boy, leave that bud. 
So he's pawing at it a little bit. So I'm going to help him a little bit. Leave that button. Go ahead. Leave that button. I know. So this is something that's pretty common with a lot of dogs. He says, I have lost control. Good boy. Leave that face. And now I need to sort of wrestle with this thing. So I'm just going to guide him to the ground and I'm going to calmly help him understand that no pressure. Good. Leave that alone. Go ahead. Leave that back. Go ahead. And this is a pretty typical thing. Now, he did something pretty smart there. And I don't know if you see this. Uh, he actually managed to get the nose loop off. So no big deal. I'm going to reset myself. We're going to put it back on again. So I'm going to take this nose loop off, take the gentle leader off. I'm going to put this back up on his nose. Good boy, bud. And then I'm going to change things a little bit. I'm going to make it a little bit easier for him to be right. Before I do anything now, I'm going to get it a little food. And I'm going to help him understand, yes, good boy, that good things can still happen with this gentle leader on. So I've got some cheese here. Yes, good boy. Excellent boy. Good. Yes, good boy. Good. Excellent. Yes, good boy. Good. And as long as he sits calmly, I'm going to reward him. Yes, good boy. Excellent work. You notice anytime I reward him, this leash hangs straight up and down. There's no tension on that gentle leader. So he's going to learn pretty quickly that no tension means good things. And now I'm going to help him a little bit. I'm going to move him just a little bit. Let's go. Good boy. Let's go. Yes, good boy. We're going to move quickly. We're going to reward often. Let's go. Good boy. So I'm getting him moving. I'm getting him focused on something else. Good boy. Now he's going to paw at it. That's okay. So I'm just going to lift up a little bit. I'm going to place him in a sit and then put some slack back in. Yes, good boy. Excellent job. So I interrupted him as quickly as I could, letting him know that he shouldn't play with it. First thing first, I'm not mad at him. I'm not telling him that he's a bad dog for doing something, but I am preventing the behavior from continuing. He is really starting to understand, okay, don't paw at the thing, but good things happen when you simply go with it. Good, let's go. Good, let's go. Yes, good, let's go. Yes, good boy. Excellent, let's go, eat that. Good, let's go. Yes, good, let's go. Good boy, excellent job. Good boy, ready, get that thing. Good, let's go. So now I'm giving him something else to focus on, which is just moving with me. And I'm gonna reward him often for moving with me. Good boy, let's go bud. And the more he moves and realizes that good things happen, the more he settles into the gentle leader. Now, where they will tend to struggle with it a little bit more is simply when we're sitting. Because he's gonna start to realize now that it is on his nose and it's kind of bugging him. Good boy. I'm going to make sure that he gets lots of praise. Leave that. Good boy. When he's sitting calmly and not messing with the gentle leader. Excellent boy. Good job. Very nice. Yes. Good boy. Now, one of the nice things about a gentle leader is it gives my dog full range of motion of their mouth. So the other thing I can actually do to help him be more comfortable with it is I can take out my toy okay, get it, and I can let him tug and play and have some fun. He can open his mouth. He can do all those things. And the more he associates being able to do that with my toy, the more he will settle into it. Good boy. Out. Good out. Yes. Good boy. So I'm interspersing some calm behavior on the gentle leader with some more exciting behavior. Okay, get it. Good boy. Dug, 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 dug. Yes, good boy. Good job. Excellent work. Good. Out. Good out. Good boy. Sit. Yes, good sit. Excellent work. So you can see a couple of times there he was, okay, good job. Leave that. So again, in that particular moment, leave it. Good leave. Leave that. Good. He's working through his head right now, whether or not he should fuss with this. Yes, good boy. I'm interrupting every time. Now, the big thing is when I interrupt, I am making sure that I put slack back in this leash. This is the most important part for him to figure out, is that good things happen when there's no tension at all. Good boy. Excellent work. And the sitting is the hardest part because without motion, they're focused on the gentle leader. Yes, good boy. Good job. Excellent work. Just a little bit more walking for today, and then that's all I'm gonna do with them today on this particular thing. So I'm gonna get out some more food again. Hey bud, are you ready? Are you set? I got some great treats here. Good job. Okay, let's go. Yes, good, let's go. Let's go. Yes, good boy, good, let's go. So anytime he moves, he gets lots of rewards for moving with me on a nice loose leash, wearing his shiny new gentle leader. And for a first time, that actually went pretty well. Okay, again, he uh, had a couple of issues with it, but it's important that you understand that your dog needs to be accepting of it and we're gonna help them to accept it, okay? We're not gonna let them rehearse that kind of thing. One week later. 
So it's a week later now, guys. I've spent the last week doing all sorts of fun things with Final while wearing his Gentle Leader. And you'll remember last week when I put it on him in the hall, he wasn't really fond of it. He really didn't like it. My job is to help him through it. So I'm gonna do some work with him now. I'm gonna do a little response to name. I'm gonna do a little walking. I might even pull out my toy and have a little tug and play. And he's gonna work through it. Now he may paw it a little bit. And I'm just gonna work him through that. I'm gonna encourage him to leave it, but then I'm gonna keep on moving. The idea is much more comfortable with it now and we can have much greater success. Okay, buddy, ready? Final, yes, good boy, excellent. What a good puppy dog, good, good job, good. This way, ready, you set, leave that. Hi, I'm over here, good boy, get in, let's go. Good, let's go, yes, good boy. What a good puppy dog, hooray, good boy, excellent. Are you ready? Are you set, final, leave it and sit. Whoops, sit, good sit, good job. Let's go. Okay, let's go. Good boy. Are you ready? Are you set? Okay. Ready? Get that toy. Get it, get it, get it. Good boy. Get it, get it, get it. Good. Out. Yes, good out. Excellent boy. A common thing that happens when people try a new piece of equipment is they put it on the dog and the dog doesn't like it and they immediately take it off because they think that the dog really isn't getting any use out of it or it's really not going to work. It's important that you take the time to get your dog comfortable with any new piece of equipment before you can start to get success with it. It's important to stick with it. A gentle leader is like any other training tool and it's designed to get success early with your dogs. But it's also something we don't want to become dependent on. If you want to learn more about how to wean away from a gentle leader when your dog is ready, click that card right there. If this is your first time on the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button. We publish new videos every week to help you to have a well-behaved four-legged family member. With that, I'm Steve. Happy training.